this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve the problem of value prop on input should not be null. So if you look at this application, everything is okay. If I click and edit, everything seems to be working fine. But now if you take a look at the console, you see a warning there. So you can look at the console and you see that there's a warning, even though it seems to be okay. Now the warning says value prop on input should not be null. Consider using an empty string to clear the component or undefined for uncontrolled components. Now, if you check why we should not use null in React, I just Google it, why not use null in React? The primary issue with using return null in a component that is that it can cause unexpected behavior in the application. Specifically, null is treated by React as a valid value to render and it can cause the component children to become disconnected from the tree so if you are working with this very simple application that is fine but if you are working with application that has nested components it's better to avoid this problem completely as a best practice you always want to avoid using using null but the question is where is this problem coming from now let's go ahead to fix this problem before i continue i want to let you know that this application you see is the inventory management system inventory ms application that we are going to be building in the next tutorial coming up in a couple of weeks so if you want to join us in building this system please subscribe to my channel click on the subscribe button to subscribe so that you don't miss any updates Okay, let's go ahead to solve this problem. So the first thing you want to do is to go to the application and you want to look at your states. Now you want to look at all the states you defined and make sure that the word null does not appear anywhere. If you take a look here, you can see that I have a couple of nulls in different places. For instance, the delete ID is null as the initial value. So I'm going to simply set it to zero. Of course, you want to know the type of value uh, that the state is, and then you want to set it accordingly. So now I use empty arrays for list of items. I use zero for number values, and I use true false for Boolean values. In this case, the form mode, I'm going to set it to just an empty string. And let's see now that we don't have any more null values in our state. Let's save everything and let's go check what we have in the UI. So let's look at the UI. If I go back here and go to the console, now let's try to open the edit model once more. We see that the problem is still there, even though we don't have any null values in the states in our component. The next thing I would like to do now is to check what happens when I click on the edit button here. When I click on the edit button, there must be a function that gets called. And that function is this one that says handle open edit that opens up the edit dialog box or the edit model. Now, when you open the edit model, it receives the item, which is the record that you clicked. So basically, if you look at this place, when I click on this edit, it returns this record. So most likely, this record contains some null values, most likely. To be able to verify that, I'm going to log out to the, to the console this item that is being returned and i'm going to simply say console.log and let's take a look at this item if i refresh the page and let's click on the edit once more we have the same problem but now you can see that i have the item that is being showed in the ui at this time and you can see is item that has quite a number of fields. Some of the fields has null values. You can see right here like the MRP, the order, the sold. And of course you cannot avoid some null values coming in the fields of objects coming from the database. So how do we solve the problem when actually this data comes from the back ends or from the database? Well, we have to actually do a cleanup for any object before we render. I'm going to write a function. This function is going to be useful to you to take any object and simply clean it up by replacing null values with appropriate values depending on the type. In this very case, in this very case I'm going to replace number values with zero and string values with empty string. So let's write that function. I'm going to call that function updates null fields. And this update null fields is going to take an object, it's going to be an arrow function that takes the object as a parameter, and it's going to return a new object with all the fields updated where the null fields has been null values has been replaced. 
So we're going to respond a new object that comes from the entries or the fields of this object. So I'm going to say objects, but from entries, and we are now going to return, we are going to map through the entries, which are actually the fields of this object. So I'm going to say object dot entries object, which is the same object, and I'm going to map so that map and when you map, we are going to have a key and a value. So we are going to have a key and a value. And now we are going to return a new key and value where the key remains the same, but the value have changed. Okay, so what we are going to return is a list of key values. So the key remains the same, and now we are going to change the value. The first thing we want to check is if the value is null. So I'm going to use a ternary operator to check whether the value is null. So I'm going to check if the value is null. Now if the value is null, we are going to return something else, possibly an empty string. Else, we are going to return actual value if the value is not null. So why do we have this error? Okay, sorry, I, I put the semicolon in the wrong place. Now this, this is fine, but now it's going to set all the fields to empty string even when they are numbers. Okay, let's leave it this way for now. Now I'm going to take out this console.log for now. Now if I call this function in here, it's going to lead to a problem of infinite loop. And what I'm going to do is to have another function that actually sets the current, that sets the current item and updates it because the current item is actually a state in our application. So I'm going to write a new function called, I'm going to call it, handle object update and this is actually going to just take the state our current state which is existing and simply update it it's going to update it by calling our function so we are going to say set item actually set current item and this time the current item will be the new item that actually gets updated by calling this so what we are going to pass into this place is the updated item which is updated by calling this function so we are going to pass a callback that takes the item and updates it by calling the update null field so we are going to take the current item and we are simply going to return the updated one so i'm going to say update null fields and give it the current item okay so this is basically it now what we are going to do here once we set the current item before we render it to the ui before we render it to the component or to the dom we want to immediately update the current item to clean up the null field so i'm going to simply call this function we we have written called handle objects update and this is basically it so what is going to happen here is before this item gets rendered the null fields will be removed and replaced now of course you can also replace null fields based on the type of values they contain so i'm going to save everything let's go to the ui to check what we have i'm going to click on edit and you can see that the problem goes away completely so null fields has been replaced by empty string but let me just show you one thing you can do for that you want to check maybe the type of value maybe if it's a number replace it with zero if it's a string replace it with empty string so we are going to actually check if is a number if value is type of number if type of value is number sorry number we are going to return zero else is going to be empty string so this kind of makes more sense of course you can improve it a little more by replacing with different kind of values depending on the type of value being returned let's go back to the ui to check what we have and just make sure everything is fine going back to the ui and i can click on edit and everything works exactly as expected the error has gone away completely so this is how to handle the problem of null fields uh, in react application and i will like to stop here but i will also like to remind you that coming soon we are going to be building a complete inventory management system i'm currently working on it putting up the tutorials together the step by step in my website and also as video to video lessons for free to get notified when i release this lesson so this course uh you will get notified if you subscribe to my channel so i recommend you subscribe also leave me a comment if there's something you would like me to clarify uh, or something you would like to learn more i remain kind on the tech pro and i'm always there for you